she did not say the nigga that she told us was a goddamn pedo for 24 months is her friend now. <laughs> oh, I need some Kleenex. <laughs> I can't keep the tears. <laughs> Oh, y'all better be glad I didn't come live and talk about this shit last night. This is a fucking mess. I cannot. I cannot, Olivia. <laughs> Somebody please contact CPS. I'm so fucking serious. Oh. <laughs> she told us that he is a nasty man. Oh, my God. And now he's her best friend. Now he's her best friend. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Everybody wipe your tears away. Get it together, ladies. Let's act ladylike, okay? Get your water. <laughs> oh, y'all, this is fucking hilarious. Seriously, like, her best friend, he's kind of like a best friend now. And he just wants to be in AJ's life. Oh, my goodness, y'all. AJ got a stepmommy now. Okay. You know, it's all about you know his well being and him having you know. both his parents. Thank you for the and twenty dollars. You know, shout out to you. I was ashamed. No, I was never Thank ashamed you. that he was my baby daddy or nothing like that. Nothing. I was just, I didn't trust him, and I didn't know you he didn't trust him. Page and blah 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 blah. Like like I had to talk to him and we've done that you know we've done that we've cleared the air we both understand that aj is most important here and no matter what i've been through with any of my baby daddies i would never keep them out of their kids life really it's, it's not about me when a child enters the city when exactly did this like epiphany happen like when when when? Because, like, AJ is two, and she didn't care for my, his father's life the entire time. Baby, no daddy's eight months old, and she don't even have a clue that she really has a father. She thinks Olivia nutted in Olivia's self and made her. So what? Hmm, interesting. But, you guys, this makes a lot of stuff make sense, okay? So remember when Olivia was live the other day? And AJ grabbed the phone and said, hi, daddy, thinking that she was on FaceTime or something with somebody, but she was really on live. And we was like, did he just say hi, daddy? And then somebody in the chat was like, he's probably mimicking the other kids from when they talked to their dad. But this would make sense if he's been communicating with his father, Zolo. Then him grabbing the phone and saying, hi, daddy, is because he thought his father was on the phone. Oh, you guys, this hoe, this hoe, this hoe. So we need to go back and figure out like when she stopped bashing Zolo and Donna. Because she was just talking crazy about Donna a good month ago. It might have been two months ago, but it was a good month ago calling her the old lady. That old lady and ill and rolling her eyes and all that. She was just doing that. So the communication with her and Zolo has recently started. What sparked it? Hmm. Is it that she need money? Situation, it's not about us. It's about that baby. So I know that AJ needs both of his parents. Yeah, she was just doing it. His father's not dead. His father's not, doesn't want, doesn't, it's not like he doesn't want to be in his life. He wants to be in his life. So with that being said, I, I welcome him with open arms and I'm so happy that he wants to be in AJ's life. And it's so cute because they've met and they're talking and Lorenzo calls every day, y'all, to talk to his son. And they met actually in person or she's saying they met on video. Because if Zolo then made a trip to freaking Texas, him and Donna to see this baby, and Olivia just kept this to herself all the time. But then we can probably figure out when, because remember, she was getting all dressed up fancy and everything. Child, y'all, she gonna have us deep diving now. He sent him a tablet. He sent me money. Mm -hmm. He is very, very, very involved. And this is what I've always wanted. He sent her money. Mm. Wink, wink. When she was in Walmart, I was watching that video yesterday. 
her in Walmart spending all that money buying extra candles and AJ picking out toys and everything. Mm -hmm. Y'all, child. One thing that I can say about Zolo is he is financially supporting his daughter. And he's doing his big one with his daughter. So if Olivia is going to allow him to do it for AJ, he's going to do it for AJ also. That's that's one thing I can say for a fact. Zolo being with Donna has put a different spark in him, a different light in him and everything. And it's good. It is for the better of him. I don't really know how Donna's doing in the situation, but seeing Zolo from what we've seen before in the Zolo now, it's a complete difference, you guys. Like, it's a big difference. And I follow his baby mama on Instagram. She posts their daughter and stuff. He, he supports his daughter. So if Olivia is open, then I'm positive he will do the same thing for his son. He would have been doing it. Is is her for AJ? So I'm I'm very happy that um, AJ has his dad, and I was not going to come on social media and clarify anything until I had that talk with him, until we had that understanding. And like I said, we've been talking for a little minute now, and everything is good. You know, a little minute good. now. And like I said, it's just about AJ. That that's what is most important. You know, I respect him, he respects me. And honestly, we're kind of friends and it's nice. It's nice getting along with him. It's nice talking about our son. It's like a breath of fresh air, you know, because there's no reason why two people who are grown and mature cannot put their children first and get along and have a good co-parenting relationship. There's just no reason for that not to be the case unless you have other stuff going on, you know what I mean? But I can say with Lorenzo and with Joey, Joey is very much real, honey. It's Kailani's father. I can say that they're both really good friends to me. <laughs> this hoe. Joey is very much real, honey. So what is Joey in jail for, what, 15 to 20 or something? Because Joey hasn't seen his baby. Joey don't support his baby. That baby has no clothing, no shoes, no nothing. So what? Honey, honey, girl. She said Joey is very much real. Bitch, you really think somebody believe you? <laughs> that you come to make a video to tell us that you've been lying for 24 months and then going to tell us that the Joey you initially said was AJ's father is not AJ's father, but he's baby no daddy's father. Really? But you've been talking about this Joey person since before you was pregnant with baby no daddy, right? Like, hmm. <laughs> make it make sense for real for real sis remember that baby daddy was supposedly the father to both of your children remember joey is very much real yeah in your fucking head and they're both supportive of their children and Child. what i said about joey was not fake joey he knew that lorenzo was not in aj's life when i met joey and joey fell in love with with AJ and he's what? like, okay, well, if he's not going to be around, then I will step in and be there for AJ, which is noble. It's a noble thing to do. And I do appreciate him. And to this day, Joey is still, whenever he calls, hi, AJ, you know, he doesn't treat him any different than Kailani because. So Zolo just recently been involved in AJ's life and you're saying till this day when Joey calls he still talks to AJ as if like Zolo's been here for three years and like really what she just said didn't make absolutely any fucking sense if Zolo's only been involved for a month or two months or even if it's been four months why the hell would Joey not still communicate with AJ bitch make it now, this shit right here, I just, uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. 
This hoe is diabolical. I mean, when I tell you she is bull fucking wig. He, he has love for AJ, you know? And that's a good thing. That's a good thing, you know? That's a beautiful thing. But <laughs> fuck? AJ does have a father. And that is his dad. <laughs> and I didn't have to come and say this. AJ does have a father. And that is his dad. Bitch, you sound stupid as hell. And you just said it like that in no type of order because you're lying about Joey and you just making up shit off the, just making it up as you go. So that's why you said AJ has a father and that is his dad. That don't make no fucking sense. You was just talking about Joey. And you followed it up with AJ has a father and that is his dad. So you're telling us Joey's the dad again? Like make it make sense, bitches, because you got confused with the lies that quick. God damn. You know, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, you know. That's a beautiful thing. But Izzy does have a father, and that is his dad. <laughs> and I didn't have to come and say this. Lorenzo and I were both like, oh, should we even say anything? But the only reason I wanted to is because I let you guys in my life. And I don't have anything to hide. It's nothing. Why would Zolo say, ew, should we even say anything? Zolo already told us that was his baby. Zolo went from saying that wasn't his child. And Zolo went from saying you was lying about being pregnant and you never had a baby. To then seeing the baby and saying, oh, that is his, that's not his child. To then saying, oh, yeah, that is his child. That's his twin is what he said. That's my twin. So what? Why would Zolo even say, should we even? Zolo already told us that was his fucking child. Should we even what? Thing is a secret. Like, oh, it's just, <laughs> if I don't want to tell you guys things, I don't have to. I'm grown. I'm a grown woman. And if I don't want to share certain details and I want to say, yeah, I got two baby daddies. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's my business. I can do that. And if you don't know that, then you don't know boundaries. But just idiot. because somebody's on social media doesn't mean you have access to their whole entire life and they better tell you what you want to know. No. No. But to the people who speculated, you guys got it right. Yes, that is his baby. And he's very much in his life. And we're very much on a, on a good page, on the same page. Why the hell is she coming to tell us this? Like, we even really fucking care. Like, we don't care, ho. What are you talking about? <laughs> we don't give a damn who AJ's daddy is, bitch. That was on the back burner. You missed out on that fucking train, um, that wagon a year ago, Olivia. The same as when you hid um, AJ's the pregnancy and you hid the appointments and then you hear the delivery and you hear AJ period when you decided to finally show him it didn't break the internet it didn't break shit nobody really cared that's the same with this like sis you're literally missing your link every time you have some tea every time you have something to break the internet you too embarrassed and you hide the shit and you miss your chance you miss your chance to break the internet you just miss it Ciao, bye. This is a whole fucking mess. Well, y'all, she came and told us that AJ is Zolo's child. Like, we didn't fucking watch her suck Zolo's hanky panky on live. Wow. Like I said, I respect him. He respects me. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's all you can ask in a co parenting situation, you know? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> there you go. You know, when I was strolling through YouTube and looked at it uh, last night, it was up for five hours and it only had 2,000 views. I said, <laughs> if this bitch thought she was going to break the views with this, you extremely failed. Like, girl, you failed, failed, failed. Uh uh. I couldn't do nothing but laugh when I seen 2,000 views. What the hell? Girl, the people are not fucking interested. Mm mm mm. You should have did this damn video fucking um, shit 17 months ago. What's wrong with you? You might even see him one day.
a visiting aj or who knows yeah i'm so sure we're not Mm -hmm. trying to we've done so much broadcasting of Mm -hmm. what has gone on between lorenzo and i we're really not trying to broadcast anymore anything it's just yes i wanted to clarify it's just that you on here broadcasting right now right so y'all decided that y'all broadcasted so much y'all really don't want to broadcast anything else but you came on here saying this who who give a fuck for real for real you could have just literally been live one day and be like oh aj's gone with his father he gone with his father and we would have known okay he's gone with um zolo nobody would have questioned who aj was gone with we would have known if aj was actually out of that house and stella's not back AJ's with Zolo. Everybody knew who his daddy was. There was no reason for you to broadcast this, get all dressed and put extra fucking lip gloss on and set your little plaque up and put your little fucking banner thing up here and all that bullshit to come and tell us what? To come and broadcast that Zolo's the father? But y'all don't want to broadcast stuff. Ho, please. (laughs) Because I felt like... I don't care. I don't care that I have three baby daddies. Y'all think it's something to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed of shit. It ain't oh. seven, it ain't eight, it ain't nine, it ain't ten. We can't but tell. If it was, that would be my business. But it's three. Bitch, you was embarrassed. You was definitely embarrassed. I got one baby daddy. One baby daddy. One baby daddy. Bitch, you've been casting hell on Gerard's life for three years straight. Knowing that you got three baby daddies now. Why is you not casting hell on their lives? I mean, why? Now, I'm not understanding why she's so friendly with Zolo, but she hates Gerard. These are two baby daddies that allegedly support their children. We see and we know for a fact that Gerard supports his kids. He has custody of them. Them kids don't run around raggedy. They don't run around nappy head. They don't run around unclothed. He takes care of them. We, I see Zolo support his daughter. You're telling us that Zolo supports AJ. He's such a good, he's just good with AJ. So what's the difference? Why do you cast hell on Gerard? He's really good with his children. But you don't cast hell on Zolo. You don't cast hell on Joey, who's not even there at all. Make that make yo man. Somehow I'm always able to stop on this angle almost instantly. (laughs) Oh shit! Olivia slapped him. Stella said, "Stop it! Just stop." Olivia, you better forget to stop. Zolo said they're putting their hands on me. <laughs> what the fuck, Zolo? <laughs> they're putting their hands on me. <laughs> they're trying to stop me from leaving. This shit is wild as hell, you guys. Like, y'all, they were doing this on live. <laughs> This shit is hilarious. Um, clearly putting, I'm trying to leave. Can you open the door? I have a ride. Thank you. Just go over there. Thanks. Just go over there. Just go over there. Just go Did over you just there. spray me? She just <laughs> sprayed me with bleach. I have a ride. Thank you. Just go over there. Thanks. Just go over there. Did you just spray me? She just sprayed me with bleach. <laughs> she just she just yeah, sprayed me with bleach get and she's grabbing me. Get out of my house. Stop it. You just pushed me. Did you just push me? I really just I I I really like Stella is just right in between all of this. That's what's crazy. Olivia keep hitting him and Stella just keeps saying, Stop it. And now Olivia just pushed him and Stella said, stop it. But oh, Stella is in between them. So Olivia is swinging around her mother. Like, could you imagine, for real, for real, your daughter and her boyfriend arguing. He really trying to leave at this point and Olivia just keep attacking him. Stella is saying stop it to Olivia. She's not talking to Zolo. She keeps saying stop it to her own fucking child. Olivia is unhinged completely. 
She just, she just yeah, sprayed me with bleach and she's house. grabbing me. Get out of my house. Stop it. You just pushed me? Get out of my house. Did you just push me? Nobody's pushing me. Nobody's pushing me. Yeah, yeah, she's going to jail and she's definitely not getting a kid. <laughs> this is the type of mother. <laughs> This video it literally should stay viral. This shit is so fucking funny. Yeah, she's going to jail. She's definitely not getting her kids. Please, she's grabbing me. Get out of my house. Stop it. You just pushed me. Get out of my house. Y'all, she pushed the hell out of him. Oh my gosh. Look. With bleach. She just she just sprayed yeah, me with bleach get and she's grabbing me. Get out of my house. Stop it. You just pushed me. Get out of my house. She pushed the hell out of him. His ass bucked up hella quick. Buzz all low. You better get out of her house. Did you just push get out of me? My house. Nobody's pushing right. you back. Nobody's pushing you back. Yeah, she's going to jail and she's definitely not getting a kid. <laughs> This is the type of mother that she is. Okay. She put her hands on me. So <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of mother she is. I am dying for real. Stella said, nobody's pushing you. Uh, what? <laughs> Bitch, we just seen her push him multiple times. He should have pressed charges on her. Yeah, she's going to jail and she's definitely not getting a kid. This nope. is the type of mother. Nobody's that pushing nobody. Is she just standing in the doorway like an idiot? Girl, your daughter put her hands on this man multiple times and then sprayed him with bleach. She literally should have had charges pressed on her. <laughs> she, okay. she put her hands on me, so <laughs> that's the type of mother she is. <laughs> she sprayed bleach. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> she mad. Mad, mad. Man, man. Right, his only damn shirt. I should shirt. go flatten that tire, but I ain't gonna do that. You know I'm too good, y'all. Yeah. Sure. You're right in time. He said I should flatten her tire, but I ain't gonna do that. I'm too good for that. With the whole Olivia tattoo on his face, I just cannot right now. <laughs> Olivia and a fucking bird. Like, you guys. He knew she was a bird. That's crazy. And then that's Shaggy. The one that Olivia said that she caught him in the car sucking Shaggy's pack. Right? That's what Olivia told us. Now, that's who he just said. You're right in time. You're right in time. My right here, y'all. You're right in time, bro. You're right in time. How the hell do pull up right on time, though? That is just crazy. Zolo was trying to make it out that house, y'all. <laughs> Zolo was literally trying to make it out with his life at this point. <laughs> Olivia is pulling and pushing him and spraying him with bleach all at the same time. What kind of shit is this? Like, what the hell? She grabbed his shirt and pulled him back toward her. Then she started pushing him away. Poor Zolo. And you got Stella over there witnessing everything. So like, nobody's pushing anybody. Nobody's pushing anybody. Stella, your ass is a fucking enabling liar. Seriously. She, she, you just missed it. I got everything all recorded. I got, I got to drop the evidence for my people, man. I don't know if she had some kind of flip mode going on, but yeah. <laughs> that shit, uh, done and over with. That's crazy. And Zolo got in the car and they skirted off quick, y'all. Like, did he even get the door closed? Good. Going on, but yeah. <laughs> it's off. That shit, uh, yeah. done and over with. But no, um, hold up. I'm going to get back with y'all with some more. Hold up. <laughs> y'all, this is a mess. Uh, yeah. YouTube ain't my... She was pregnant with AJ in that video. Um, Three weeks pregnant. For real. That's not, that's not what I need that I have to have to live off of. Oh. 
I ain't never in my life heard of that in my life. Yeah, they both had each other's name tattooed. Didn't she get his on her neck just like um, Gerard's was? Or I think, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, they both got each other's name tattooed. And then they got their anniversary tattooed on their fingers. I forgot about that, y'all. They had the anniversary day tattooed on their fingers. Yo, ass me. A fucking social site to survive. The garbage now, bag chronicles. That's where I went wrong at, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> that is where I believe that I went wrong at. Fucking with a damn YouTuber. But you know what? Life lessons. Let's learn. Fucking with ain't shit ass bitches. This was one of the days that him and Olivia got into it and he left walking down the street with his trash bag, y'all. Child. This man left with, I believe it was a pair of her slides on, because you could hear him just shushing down the street in his slides in a damn trash bag. You feel me? Multiple seems, times. Seems to work. Ever. Those freaking bugs in the background are getting <laughs> hers. Shit, Stella said it's Olivia got the men uh, coming. Even uh, uh, try to add yourself to my live because I'm not accepting any questions or anything. From my understanding, it's been like some years, y'all. So just trying to remember from what I remember, Donna hopped in Zolo's inbox after him and Olivia broke up or wow, because this happened a couple of times. Um, they kept breaking up. Zolo would leave off and basically be homeless and have to go back to the halfway house with his trash bag. And then, boom, he'll be back at Olivia's house. And then Olivia would flip out, curse him out, and he would be walking again with his trash bag. One of them times, Donna hopped in his inbox, and that's how him and Donna met. They started talking. Cuz, what the fuck, bro? You found me at 300 some views. Oh, yeah, the name will get covered. No, no problem. That shit ain't gonna be shit to cover up, actually. He talking about the tattoo. It ain't gonna be nothing at all. She's a fucked up breed, actually. I'm glad she pushed me off, like, when I was trying to, like, say the relationship. I, I believe that. I'd never seen it in the chat, but I definitely believe it because she hopped in his inbox and they started communicating. And when I say, <clears throat> um, some people say that she flew to Florida to bring him back to Chicago. And some people say that she just or got the ticket and he went. But either or, he went to Chicago and he never came back. Uh, the fuck? For real. I don't even much play. I think when he first got with Donna, I do believe it was more of a survival thing. Um, survival and she had the coins and she had the place and I'm safe here. I'm safe. She's grown. Nothing wrong with her. She's not a bad person. I think that is what it started off as, but I don't believe that's what it is now. Um, I believe him and Donna really are in love with each other. I don't think it's about money or her benefiting him or anything at this point. Zolo works. So, I mean, if he wanted to take his little job and leave, he could have did that. But he's still there. She could have been done with him, but he's still there. I think 
they they actually they in it now. They they in it to win it. And hey, do your thing. Shit, if he happy, she happy. As long as he not playing her, he's not taking advantage of her. He not doing nothing wrong. I love it for her. I love it for her, y'all. One person's trash can literally be the next person's king. One person's trash can be the next person's queen. Like, everybody's not meant for everybody. So Olivia and Zolo, they they weren't meant for each other. Him and Donna, that might be a, that just might be a, a puzzle piece that came into play. Who knows? I don't know. I don't think he's using her for money anymore. Hell yeah. I definitely need cash out to get a room tonight. But ain't nobody gonna send nothing, so. I bet you Donna sent it. I ain't looking it. out. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't looking forward to it. I bet you Donna sent that cash out for that room tonight, honey. Y'all, she got her. You know? Yeah, wouldn't nobody go back to Olivia? Uh -uh. That's why he fell in love. That's why he can't go nowhere. That boy is whipped and stuck. When I tell y'all, and Miss Donna can't even cook for real. <laughs> no shade to her, but she's not a cooker. Y'all know how you like it. You have the older ladies that like the housewives, and then you have the ones that really got out and they just work a majority of their life. Donna is the working one. She's not a cooker. I do not believe she can make that boy a pound cake. I don't think she can make him anything really, really homemade. So <laughs> it, it, it's y'all, they locked in. They are locked in. And I like it. If Donna loves it, I love it for her. Seriously. That boy ain't doing nothing to her. He ain't doing nothing to her. He ain't hurting her. He not mistreating her. I freaking love it for her, girl. Donna, get, get your pang pang, girl. Do your thing. She got her young whippersnapper and she ain't letting him go. Olivia can go to hell. Man, she can never. You think I'm I'm that stupid? I would never let a bitch leave me homeless. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Hold up, y'all. I be cracking up, yo. <laughs> I be laughing because she really do think that she can cook like y'all. She be in that kitchen with her jewelry on. And her little shirt tucked 